two things that your uh, TI-83 is good for in calculus is it will calculate definite integrals of functions and it will also calculate derivatives of functions at specific points. Uh, the syntax for that goes like so. Say that uh, this is the integral we want to evaluate. Nice and nasty. What you have to do is you press math 9 so, and that will bring up this. That's like the TI-83's version of the definite integral symbol. Uh, and then you just enter in what the function is, comma, whatever variable is that you, you, you are using, usually it's going to be x, uh, comma, the lower bound, uh, comma, the upper bound, close it off, hit enter, and it will, will, will do it for you. So let's see how that goes. All right, got it hooked up here. I have it entered in just as I said I would, so you hit enter, and it'll think for a second, and uh, the area is, or the net signed area is about 3.2. Now, if that's fine and dandy if what you're going to do is just one thing with the function. If you're going to do multiple operations with the same function over and over again, I recommend that you have it entered into uh, one of your plots. So here it is. And let's say that what I'm interested in is several values of this function. Let's say that I want to know the value of the function at the integers, one, two, three, and so on. So you got to go to graph, have a graph up, and this is what you do. You go to second and then uh, calc, and you hit value. And if you want f of one, you just plug in one and hit enter, and it tells you what f of one is. If you want f of two, you just, now if you have already done it, you can just hit two and hit enter, and it'll generate those values, there's three, as you type them in. Now, another way of doing this, uh, which is sometimes more convenient, is if you go back to the home screen, right? We want the value of the function at 1 and 2 and 3 and so on. So what I'm going to do is, instead of uh, plotting it up, what I'm going to do is you press VARS, which is underneath the arrow keys. And then you go to Y VARS and then hit function. And that'll bring up your list of the functions that you have entered in for your um, grids. So what you do is, if you want the value of the function at 1, you just do y1, open paren, 1, close it off, hit enter, and it'll generate it for you. If you want more than, if you want more than one value, you could go through, back through vars and y vars and function again, and say y of 2, or that, oh no, do y of 2, but uh, that takes a long time sometimes. So y of 2, All right? Probably a better way to do this is if you press second and then the enter key, it will recall the last thing that you had typed in. So you can just switch it here without going through all that other nonsense, going through the menus. Y4, there you have it. Uh, the second thing that you're, or the third thing that the calculator will do is it will calculate the derivative of the function at specific points. So let's say that I'm interested in uh, dy dx of this function at x equals 4. All you got to do is go to the graph, and then you sit second and calc again, and you go down to the dy dx, hit enter, it'll prompt you for the value at which you want it. We were interested in 4, so we hit 4, enter, and it says dy dx at that point is 1.29. It's just that easy. Uh, another way to uh, all right, another way to calculate definite integrals of functions, if they're already entered in, is if you go back to the home screen, you can use the same syntax that we used, only uh, <clears throat> instead of entering in the whole function, since it's already stored in Y1, you can hit Math 9 to bring up the integral, and then go back through the VARS menu, function, Y1, and that now stands for the function that you, you, you have in Y1, so you don't have to enter it in again. And then, then you just do comma x, comma, say I want the integral from 0 to 1, comma 0, comma 1, close it off. And again, if you're doing multiple integrals with the same function, all you have to do is hit second and enter again to recall it, so you don't even have to type that up again. And we could do the integral from, say, 0 to 2. And it's just that easy.